Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Court Open Day and the 2015 Royal Logistical Sports Awards. I'm Colonel Darren Corrie and the co-host of the Sports Awards today uh, is Major Elizabeth Sedgwick. Uh, and please welcome Major General Ian Copeland, President of the RLC Association, and our Sports Award personality this year, a true sporting heroine, Rebecca Romero, MBE. For the first time in many years, we are free of the big operational commitments in Iraq and Afghanistan. Seems like every year we say a huge amount of people can't be here because of those commitments. But nevertheless, the Corps continues to be extremely busy. Uh, the response to the Ebola crisis in Sierra Leone demonstrates our readiness to do anything and anywhere. And of course, we still have a lot of soldiers deployed on operations and supporting training around the world. And hot foot from their match this morning versus the RLC reserves, the Massey League trophy winners for 2015 are the Royal Logistical Football Team. Sports Personality of 2012 and the Heming Belt winner last year. She is an exceptional boxer, soldier and sportswoman. Ladies and gentlemen, the RLC Sports Personality of the Year for 2015 is Lance Corporal Alana Murphy. Yeah. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, welcome to the RLC Open Day. In the main arena now is the display of the Corps' um, collection of historic vehicles uh, ranging from uh, the First World War through to the uh, 1960s and 70s. Uh, leading, though uh, somewhere at the tail end of the procession at the moment, is the iconic general service wagon, the, the, the Ford Transit of World War I. Many, many thousands of these were made and sent to, went to France. Uh, each vehicle was pulled by two horses or more and could carry 30 hundredweight. That in, uh, um, that's in pound shillings and ounces. Uh, in real terms, 1.5 metric tonnes. Uh, the GS wagon was a, the first truly standardised vehicle of the British Army. Um, they were all, all the parts were interchangeable. And I say many, many hundreds of thousands were made and very, very few survive now. But we have uh, three um, at the moment in our collection that deep cut and uh, um, hopefully we'll be acquiring another fairly soon. Following it, <coughs> with a single horse, is a, a mess cart. Um, say single pony uh, pulling it, uh, a small, versatile, lightweight vehicle, carried the rations, uh, carried hay boxes full of uh, stew. The first motor vehicle we have um, is a, um, a Morris Commercial, um, wartime vintage. It, has, uh, it can carry uh, 1,500 weight and uh, is, uh, is, is a, quite an iconic vehicle of uh, World War II. Behind the um, Morris Commercial, um, though it doesn't look like a, a, a tanker, it's a, in fact a fuel bowser um, under its, its canopy. It has a, uh, a, a large capability of uh, carrying a POL, um, whether it's a, a diesel or, or sieve gas. This, um, this vehicle was rescued from a, um, uh, a scrapyard somewhere and has been rebuilt completely by the, uh, by the volunteers of the RLC Museum. The vehicle following that, uh, many of you will recognise instantly, the Snatch Land Rover. A particularly, um, uh, 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 I won't say unpopular, but <laughs> it, is, it was a vehicle used extensively in Northern Ireland um, and would have carried on for many years in Iraq if it hadn't been so susceptible to uh, uh, larger, la the larger IED devices which would uh, unfortunately turn them on their backs. Behind the Snatch Land Rover comes a, uh, another one which many of you who served in, in Germany and, uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, in the Northern Ireland Times will recognise, the Eager Beaver forklift truck. It's a, uh, it's a moment it's carrying, it'll carry a one ton pallet, uh, here's carrying uh, simulated ammunition on, on, on its forks. It will move round, uh, it, 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 it strengths very, very good cross-country capability. It'll do uh, uh, 30 miles an hour on the road and also um, will be, uh, say, able to lift a, a tonne easily. Following the Eager Beaver, um, the most extraordinary vehicle is a Scammell mechanical horse. It has uh, a, a tractor unit and a little semi-trailer. Uh, and. It's really used for depot and dockyard use, um, though they did intend to use them as a, an airborne uh, support vehicle, and indeed uh, they were planned to send a lot to Germany when they or to wrong to the uh, uh, to, uh, forward for the, uh, the the Rhine crossings to move things off the drop zone. But uh, it, th this um, this one actually started life in a Royal Naval dockyard, and uh, I believe was rescued from there. So it's, uh, it hasn't had a particularly active career. But it's a, a very, very nice little, little and unusual vehicle to have. It's, it's back over, but it's in the northern one. Oh. The Grand, Grand side. <laughs> so the inspector team's coming over. It's in the northern one. So we're doing a look. Yeah, you've got too far to drive. Yeah. He's got a bomb. <laughs> then we have the Union Jack and the Corps flag, and also uh, Major Rudra will be jumping the Gurkha flag. So when they come in, guys, make sure everyone gives them a big cheer. Okay. Thank you very much. So we've got, not like you're looking up at a building, jump, 
jump, jump. But we want to see him getting ready to go and exit the air car very, very shortly. Also, then with the core flag, we've got Sergeant Dean Hoskins, who's a fireman uh, based up in Swindon. So, so coming and setting up now. First coming in will be WO1 Vance Allen from Abingdon. Probably about 4,000 skydives under his belt. So very, very, very experienced. Not quite, but not bad. Fantastic, here comes Paul Gibbs, and his mum will be proud of him. Okay, last one. Fantastic, because they can still hear you. Is he going to hit the cross? Oh, he wins nearly, very, very close. Massive cheer, please, for the Gurkhas. Yeah, come on, Roger, they're cheering you. Fabulous. And lastly, the driving force behind the Silver Stars is Major Rick McSpadden. And it's his first demo as well, so he's been a little bit nervous today. Big cheers! Fantastic! And he landed it up as well! Fabulous! Really good display, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, could you show your appreciation for the world famous Silver Stars parachute display team? Thank you so much, it's been a fantastic crowd. Thank you. Done like nothing in here was bought. We've had like um, the young man's medals there. Um, we paid to have them mounted and all of them. And the young lady from the family went, if you ever need him for shot or you need him to go anywhere, just let us know. All of them around the 90 centimetre mark now. Let's have a round of applause for that. That was particularly well jumped. of one element of sword lines and revolver. There's a three inch special blank firing pistol and the aim is to get over these jumps, pop the balloons as go over and it's purely the distance, no, there's no projectile but it's just a discharge from the barrel each time it fires which produces enough effect to come through the balloon. So it's a good test of close quarter accuracy. Well. 82 squadrons support 3 para and in the same manner 63 squadrons support 2 para in the battle uh, exercises operations around the world. The troops are manning, the jack on the British platform, use of force protection and mutual support and combat assistance patrol. Combined high rates of fire from the 50 calibre heavy machine gun mounted on the top, also to change to the grenade machine gun. The broad bikes and shells then are used for urgent and ammunition loot supplies to the front line and to get urgent supplies forward and also used for standards to extract from the battle state. And the front line is expanded to the front line in the set and start to get to the enemy. Three regions of the top stop. The A, the B, 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 the B,
Indiana Jones, by the right quick match! Ladies and gentlemen, and of course, up. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation for band and core or drums for the Royal Jesse Corps and 152 Richmond Pipes and Drums. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sir's mom, please, we don't have a round of applause for the ROC and Zero team.